if you truly want to have a garden, nothing should stop you from having a garden, no matter where you are. Uh, even on your balcony, a garden is possible. Um, I just got this flower pot arranger, flower pot stand. And um, before then, I had all sorts of flower pots on the balcony. Some of them are not quite neat. Some of them are just um, um, improvision, I would say. But now that I have this stand with some new pots, I'm going to transfer uh, some of the plants into this pot because they are better than some of the containers that had housed some of these plants for some time. On this um, balcony, in this um, garden, balcony garden, I have uh, quite a number of plants and I want you to see a few of them. Who knows this? Who knows this? This is Pepe. I'm not even sure now because I planted um, a number of different kinds of Pepe and the leaves are similar. So when the Pepe is fully out, they are coming out. The seeds are so tiny now you can see this tiny thing the pepper is coming out but now i can't tell you whether it's bell pepper or habanero or scotch bonnet pepper or um, cayenne pepper I, I can't tell you but all of them are in the capsicum family so uh this is pepper uh, here you see water leaf, even water leaf is possible on the balcony. The, um, the plants have been neglected for a while because I'm not available all of the time. But today I am on duty <laughs> on this balcony and I will try to bring... To, to nurture them, to take care of them, so that uh, we now monitor the growth together as um, things change. That's water leaf. Uh, this is aloe vera, and I have aloe vera in a number of pots. Um, this is basil. This is basil. In Yoruba, we call this ifiri. Sometimes I'm walking down the streets and I'm just attracted to some plants. At that moment, I don't know what the plant is or what it contains. But just because of that attraction, I get the seedling. I keep it in my possession and I begin and continue to find out the usefulness of that plant. This plant here is one of such and if you know what this plant is or what it does uh, kindly write that in the comment space so that I can learn from you all right same thing applies to this plant I'm just attract I was attracted to it and I, I don't know uh, so much about it so if you know a bit or so much about this plant here Please write it in the comment space. Uh, this same plant, I also have it in another container. Here is it. Uh, I'm surprised that this is here. Like I told you, I've not been available for a while. I'm so surprised, pleasantly surprised and happy to find this here in this balcony. A lot of people look at this as weed, but... Um, <laughs> It's uh, something, something far, 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 far uh, 
better than ordinary weed. It's very useful. This is popularly called stone crusher. And in Yoruba, we call this a olube. A olube. You can Google that and learn more about, um, about um, stone crusher plants and what it does. If time permits, as we continue from time to time, I just want to talk to you about plants on my balcony garden. This is not the only garden that I have, but I just love plants. And I like to keep them nearby all of the time. I, I like nature. So wherever I am, I bring nature uh, closer. Uh, this is another plant. If your mother or your grandmother had a grinding stone, you would have seen these plants around that uh, place uh, where you keep the grinding stone. Uh, it thrives where uh, the soil is wet. This is another basil here. This is another ephemeral plant. And this is another plant that thrives um, near the grinding stone or any soil that is moist. Uh, who knows this? Oh, <laughs> this is another very, very useful plant. Uh, it is generally called um, the plant of life. The plant of life. And I think in my in my language, in my <laughs> in my native tongue, this is called. I remember this now. When I remember what we call it in my native tongue, I'll come back to that. Um, I this is uh, see the same plants, leaf of life or plant of life. It, it has so many names. Different people call these plants different names. This is aloe vera still. And um, this, I just found this. Uh, <laughs> I just found this here. I don't know. I didn't plant this and I didn't bring it from anywhere. And I don't know what it does. I just found it here. There are some that I actually planted that um, uh, didn't, um, uh, didn't germinate, didn't uh, survive. Uh, this is what do I have here? This is um, water leaf again, but the plant, the leaves are so small. I think this is rosemary, but it's dead. This dry one is rosemary. I planted rosemary. I planted mint. I planted um, the ark plant, which we call boom boom, but all those didn't survive. I'm not sure whether this rosemary will come back to life. But I'll wait. This is um, the rainy season, and by virtue of that, it may naturally, the rosemary may naturally, this is the rosemary, the dry one, the rosemary may naturally bounce back. This is aloe vera still, and you know that aloe vera is one um, invaluable plant. It is useful for so many things. You can uh, ingest it. You can you can you can use it uh, internally, and it is also useful for cosmetic uh, purposes. It is useful for different things in, within and um, without. So yesterday I got uh, now <laughs> I just love this. This has been on this balcony for for years and. Um, <laughs> Not that I know everything about it, but I just love it, and I just brought it here. And I think it was the first plant that I brought to this space. So now, uh, where I got the flower pot arranger and this new pot, uh, the horticulturist there gave me this plant as a gift. And when I asked him what's the name, he didn't know the name. I asked him what's was it used for you so okay he said that um, it's very good that it's aromatic that uh, one can use it even in pepper soup and uh, i brought it in just yesterday i don't know i'm going to send this to 
some of my friends who are also um, interested in plants to find out whether one of them can tell me the name. So, um, this is also what I live here, struggling to survive. I think what was here, what I had here was um, a kind of vegetable, and most probably the one we call tete in my language. And um, tete, I think tete, I'm not sure, but I think it's, it's called amaranth. I'm not sure, please. <laughs> uh, so now I want to walk in this garden, uh, fill the new, transfer some of the uh, plants in the uh, makeshift containers to these pots. Uh, so that I won't have to uh, wait till there is soil to fill the pot again. I also got a bag of soil from the same garden where I got the pot. So now, let's get to work. Um, you know why you have to keep a garden or some plants anywhere you are? Is because the medicinal value of some of these plants cannot be overemphasized. For instance, basil is a natural antiseptic, natural antibiotic, and um, you, when you drink it, it corrects a lot of um, a lot of um, issues within your stomach it cleanses you really and um, get rid of um, things that your body does not need and aloe vera in fact there is a multi-million naira uh, company that distribute worldwide that is purely based products that are purely based on aloe vera. In fact, they pride themselves as the aloe vera company. And a lot of people are in their distribution chain and they, many people through that aloe vera based company have made it uh, big just by helping them to distribute this aloe vera product. Now, I remember what we call this in my native tongue. We call this urere, urere. It is called this urere, and um, it's also, it's useful for, so just check on the internet, plant of life. I'll find time to come back here from time to time and tell you about plants in my balcony garden. I'll take one of them per episode and I'll discuss that, tell you the usefulness. But the usefulness that readily comes to my mind is that this plant of life is used for headache. I've seen people who use this for headache in the past. They just pluck the leaf, squeeze it and um, extract the juice squeeze out the juice onto the head and the headache is relieved. It's also um it's also used for babies too. They put it on baby's head. You know when you just have a new baby and um there's a point on the head towards the towards the forehead where there is a hollow the place is um uh, indented and um you see, you see it beats, you know, like the heart beats, and you mothers will just pluck this leaf, squeeze it, and apply the juice to that soft part of the baby's head, just to make the baby calm. So now uh, I'll see you again uh, in the next edition of plants on my balcony garden. Everybody needs uh, 
plants. We need plants around because they are very, very useful. Like this one that I told you, I'm um, surprised, I'm pleasantly surprised <laughs> that I found it. It's used for so many things, for fever, for malaria, for kidney problem, for all sorts of, even for diabetes, for so many things. But uh, this is just an introduction. Uh, when next I come, I don't know whether I'm going to be talking about basil or the stone crusher or the aloe vera or the plant of life or the uh, basil or the pepper or any of the capsicum uh, uh, family or the aloe vera or the rosemary, the rosemary. So that's it for now. By the time I show you this garden again, this pot would have been filled and you would have found the plant transferred in this new pot. And you also come along as we nurture them and even as I enjoy them from time to time. See you again. Bye for now.